July was the Earth's hottest month on record, and those high temperatures weren't just seen on land. Tonight, we're learning about the rising temperatures of the oceans. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez talked with experts about what this means for our weather and our wildlife. Temperatures are rising on land and at sea. Experts say warming waters can lead to unpredictable weather and, of course, impact marine life. I come here every day. If I'm not uh, walking, I'm in it. Victoria Villanueva is one of many people who visits La Jolla shores often. I think this is the best beach in San Diego. It's a nice walk here to the pier. People wandered along the shoreline, sat in the sand, and went out to surf. No matter what people were doing, everyone was at the beach to enjoy the water. Water that researchers say is warming around the globe like never before. Seawater temperatures off Florida reached 100 degrees. Oceanographers say the ocean is a vital part of the climate system. If the oceans are warmer and it gets warmer, then they may not be able to take in all that heat because it's already too warm, and so the whole cycle gets disrupted. They worry an El Nino year will cause another marine heat wave in California. Rising ocean temperatures can cause ice melt, sea level rise, and unpredictable weather. These hurricanes are basically giant heat engines. So the more heat that you have in the ocean, they pull the heat off the surface of the ocean and then turn it into uh, the, the circulation that drives these intense low pressure cells that develop into hurricanes. Experts say the rising temperatures can throw the ecosystem off balance, changing animal behavior and even impacting the food sources of some marine life. We have to realize um, that climate change is happening to us right now, and it's something that we need to be thinking about, being prepared for, being willing to adapt to these changes, because it's, it's not going to slow down anytime soon. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.